Hello everyone, this is Ed. So today we're going to replace a broken screen on this beautiful iPhone 6 Plus. As you can see, the screen is shattered and it's going to be a fairly easy project. I think you'll be able to do it yourself. Uh, no reason that you won't be able to do it if I can. I think it's going to be a lot easier than replacing a broken screen on the Lumia 930 because if you watch my one of my other videos, uh, it was a fairly complicated task that took some time. All right. So this is, let me show you what, we, what we'll need. This is the OEM replacement screen. Keep in mind that this comes with, uh, open it up and show you what's inside. So this comes with everything that you need to complete the project. It includes the camera and the button, all right? Button with the uh, fingerprint scanner, your flex cables, uh, and the camera behind the metal plate up top. This is what we'll need. We'll also need some tools, uh, just a standard Torx screwdriver set, and a couple of pry up tools. We're uh, probably going to use the nylon uh, pry up tool. And as far as the Torx uh, screwdriver, we'll, we're going to use the smallest one available in the set just to begin the project. So we're going to make sure the phone is turned off to make sure we don't damage anything uh, pulling out the screen. And we're going to begin by the small two uh, Torx screws at the bottom of the frame. Um, keep in mind, as you're doing it, don't rush. Um, do not scratch the frame, which is what I almost did. So now we're going to use a plastic or nylon pry up tool. We're going to fit it uh, very neatly at the bottom of the screen, right in the center between the screen and the frame. It'll take a minute to do but don't rush and you slowly move it up and down between the frame and the screen to make sure that the screen starts coming apart. And once it splits far enough from the frame you're going to be able to insert your pry up tool on the sides. And as you can see it starts coming apart. Make sure you take your time with this so you don't break anything inside. So alternate left and right. Just do it evenly on both sides until it starts coming apart. All right, there you go. So now one of the things that I would recommend if you do this, um, when you open it up, you want to make sure that the angle of the screen with the frame before you disconnect the flex cables under the metal plate you make sure that this is no more than 90 degrees so this is where you want to hold this so we're gonna stop right at 90 degrees and before we can disconnect the screen we're gonna unscrew those six screws that hold the metal plate in place and the metal plate is the plate that's holding the flex cables in place it's a total um, a total of four cables so to get to them let's go ahead and get the plate out got one more screw left and the plate the metal plate that holds the flex cable is going to come right out of place as soon as you do that you see that beautiful large iPhone 6 plus battery this phone actually holds charge very very well all right so that comes off set it aside and we're going to use our nylon pry up tool to unsnap those flex cables start with the little one on the side and you got three more after that that are pretty much parallel to each other and they really you should disconnect them in order obviously and that's it your old screen is out so we're going to set that aside as well so your reverse procedure is going to be pretty much identical um, just make sure you connect all the flex cables what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my time with this um, so you start off with the one at the very top and you have to make sure that they're perfectly aligned. If you feel that it's 
out of place, don't force it. Don't force it down. But if you got it right, then it pretty much should fall into its place with a little click. So again, take your time. Don't rush with any of this. So we got that on. And this is the part that may take you a little bit of time. You just have to uh, have to be very careful. Those connectors are fairly small. This is one thing that was much better on a Lumia 930 to replace the screen is that that connector was uh, a little bit larger and it was a little bit more accessible by fingers so we got one more um, one one of the large ones and then the last one is going to be the little one on the side but once it sits where it needs to be just press it down and you hear a click and and this is the last one so we got all of them in so now we're gonna hold it down like this and we're gonna get the plate back on so you're really uh, more than halfway through with the project at this point in time. Lay the plate down over the connectors and I'm going to use my middle finger of left hand to hold it in place while holding the screen up at the same time not to pull any cables. screw and it's it's the longer one that's um, gonna go on to the upper right so get it get it in there once you're done with all the screws make sure they're tight enough do not over tighten any of those uh, they're not gonna come out but make sure they're nice and snug in there all right so we're past the point that everything is in place and all you have to do is just get the screen back in there. So once you're getting it back in there, make sure it's anchored right at the top. There are plastic clips that'll help you with that and slowly press it down into the frame on both sides. Do it almost simultaneously but take your time. Don't force it in there. If anything feels out of place then just you know open it back up and start over and once it clicks in place you're gonna make sure that it's nice and flush with the frame and we're gonna pretty much finish this off by putting the small torque screws in at the bottom of the frame that will hold the screen in place as you're doing this you might want to press down on the screen a little bit to make sure that it's secured in its uh, position properly and then we have one more and really once we're done with that we're just gonna have to turn it on to make sure the screen is working alright don't over tighten it alright so we finally replaced the screen make sure again it's nice and flush with the frame um, Take caution, uh, make sure you don't damage anything, uh, especially the screen. So we're going to test it by turning it on, and there you go, here's your Apple logo. Um, we'll wait um, for it to turn on, make sure there are no lines on the screen. In case that does happen, uh, it can mean two, two things, that you either got a defective screen, or it's a possibility that you didn't connect the connectors properly. So in that case, you have to open it up and make sure that they're in place the way that they're supposed to be. As you can see, looks very neat. Um, no lines, looks nice. So now you 
just repaired your 6 plus congratulations as always thank you for watching this was ed with Teclarium, and i hope to see you again soon in one of my next reviews and for the links to the replacement parts and tools please see down below the video